Hey, beautiful souls. Today I made an absolutely delicious Jamaican curry chicken pot pie. Y'all, when I say this was so good, the crust was crusting, the filling was filling. Let's get into the ingredients you'll need. Potato, peppers, onion, cilantro, thyme, scallion, and carrots. You'll need chicken breast, canned peas. These are the seasonings you'll need. Heavy whipping cream. You're gonna whisk together two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of salt. Then there we have one cup of cold butter, ice water, apple cider vinegar. Add your cold butter to your flour mixture. Mix it well. You want the um, the butter to be about pea-sized pieces. I added nine tablespoons of cold water. Add more if you need to, and also a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You're gonna go ahead and form that into a dough, and then you'll be cutting the dough in half. That's coming up. You'll see how I cut it in half equally that's for the top and bottom of your pie now when you roll out your your discs to refrigerate them please flour your um your board i didn't do that the first time around but i definitely did it the second time go ahead and season your chicken i did i use salt ground ginger complete seasoning cayenne pepper paprika um, curry powder uh, i think that's all the seasonings mix well then you chop up your vegetables add some oil to a pot on medium high heat and you're going to go ahead and Brown your chicken. You don't want to cook it all the way through because you don't want the chicken to get dry. Then you're going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Remo you're removing it from the pan to uh, add your potatoes and carrots in there so it's soaking up all that juice. Cook for about 10 minutes before adding your other vegetables and garlic, chopped garlic. Mix well. Season more if you need to. Add water. Add more curry powder if you need to. Go ahead and add your canned peas and extra carrots. I also added thyme there, though. I'm adding the chopped chicken. I'm adding heavy cream, coconut powder. If you have coconut milk, do add it. And you're going to just cook that until the chicken is done and the gravy is nice and thick. Roll out both pieces of your dough. I rolled my dough out with uh, flour, curry powder, and coconut powder down on the um, board so that it can flavor the dough. I went ahead and added the first pastry to the bottom, added my filling, added the top pastry, and I'm cutting off the excess. I crimped the sides to the best of my ability. It's the first time doing it, but I had a blast. Added these little slashes so that heat can escape the pot pie. You're gonna cook it on 400 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then I also went ahead and, you know, brushed some butter on top of this. Buttery, it was flaky. The crust was crusting, like I said, and the filling was so flavorful. Curry chicken is one of my favorite meals. So I said, why not make a curry chicken pot pie? And y'all, it was, it didn't disappoint, not even a little bit. If you like a Jamaican beef patty, you like a Jamaican chicken patty, it reminded me of that so much. It was amazing. Okay, go ahead and engage in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this cook. And if you're feeling happy, send me some stars. Now go on and have a blessed day. Mwah.